Okay, I've got a V6 3.0 litre Essex engine, Ford, out of a Ford Capri. Um, and I'm converting it to roller rockers and um, there seems to be a few problems. So I'll just come in a little bit. Got to drill and tap them out. Um, so this is the original push rod and the original push rod uh, we need to measure the length but what's happening is so what you need to try and do here is get um, the perfect um, geometry of the uh, roller rocker system so basically what we need to do is have a line between the roller and the center of the trunnion bush or trunnion pin um, because that and that there needs to be 90 degrees that that line to there to there to your valve stem line needs to be 90 degrees and with the standard push rods and it's supposed to be 90 degrees at half half lift so what we need to do is establish lift so the first problem I've discovered so if you have a look on the top of the the, the, the roller rocker here you'll see there's a stepped um, on the tr on the trunnion pin itself there's a stepped piece which this um, lash adjuster sits on top of and that basically allows you clearance so that the first problem I've got is with these on I've had to drill these uh, valve retaining plates out to, to accommodate the, the new 7 16th um, diameter stud which looks like uh, looks like this so that's the piece that screws into the head there and that's the piece the um, roller rocker sits on and it just screws in like so so I've got these down and torqued down these are, these are standard push rods and here's the first problem I've got so we, with this um, th that's the correct way to actually orientate the the pin the trunnion pin with the recess in there what it, but what it's doing it's actually bottoming out on the shoulder of this thread uh, that doesn't rebate back it actually sits proud of the thread so once it actually hits that so I'll take the push rod out and I'll show you what I mean in the correct way so at the bottom with this uh, up so underneath you'll see this is the correct way because you haven't got the machined um, recess in the pin so that, that sits down and the problem is it actually sits on the thread come around and have a look see if we can zoom in and show you so that bottomed out is actually sitting on the thread itself and it won't go down any further which I'll show you what the problem with that is in a minute. So I've got the, the engine at um, bottom dead centre, so zero lift, um, and we'll get into that in a minute. But the problem is, um, with that, with this here, pulled down as hard as it can go, it's still got about, you know, 15 mil of tapper clearance. <laughs> so that's just never going to work like that. The other problem is if I spin it around with the standard rod push rods in and, and spin the, um, the trunnion uh, pin around so the underside of the re rebated part is facing the bottom you get this, you get, it, it actually takes up the lash screw this down so we get zero lash Um, but the problem is now this bottom part of the of the 
rocker assembly is binding and on the inside actually is binding so on this face here you can see the little pinch mark I made just to demonstrate right there um, that is actually pinching on the shoulder of this this um, nut now so so that means that this here is sitting too high and relative to getting zero pre-lash but that's 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 neither here nor there because you still have to get your 90 degrees of angle between your valve and your two your two pins so we'll just spin around this way again So to do that, you need to actually lift this up and get a, so, so first of all, you need to actually establish to, uh, th so establish what the lift is of your cam. If you don't have the specifications, I'll show you how to do that.